Yo, what's going on, guys? It's G Miners here. Last season, I put out a Solar Hunter Trip Mine build that is extremely good for ability damage and probably the best in the entire game for Hunter abilities. I would say it's most comparable to something like Starfire Protocol on Warlock, where we're getting off a ton of damage just with our grenades. You can see in the video here, the combo is just spamming your melee, your grenade, and your dodges for a near perfect rotation where you quickly get each ability back. This was the build used to get the first ever solo caretaker clear on Hunter, which is insane, and this season, with the new Solar 3.0 fragments we got, it's even stronger. The Hunter setup we have also utilizes 5 fragment slots, which is the most you can have on any character, so not only does this do a crazy amount of damage, but we're also getting off cure and restoration with the build. I personally think this is one of the best mid-game builds in the entire game for add clear healing and additional boss damage. Things like having a Hunter on tether and damage supers might be more optimal during boss encounters, but for general add clear I think this build beats out a lot of other top options. Before we get into the subclass and the build itself, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and sub down below, and I will also be streaming our full day one clear over on Twitch if you want to check that stream out over there. Starting things off, usually I like to run Blade Barrage for the burst damage, otherwise 3 shot Golden Gun is extremely good for damage and generating orbs for your team. Damage Dodge is going to allow us to dodge near enemies to get our melee ability back, which will be needed for the build, and then for our melee we are running Fan of Knives, which is overall the best melee for solar in PvE and is specifically needed for this build. We will be getting grenade energy back for each ability that damages enemies, and since we throw three knives here, this is going to actually count as three ability ticks, so that makes phantom knives the best option. Lastly, we are running trip mines because these are the grenade that works with the exotic we have on in the build, which is going to be young Ahamkara's spine. After this, for the aspects we're running, first is knock them down. This is going to buff our supers for the solar hunter. Nothing makes a huge difference here other than the increased projectiles for blade barrage, but this does also now allow our melee ability to be fully refunded whenever we get a melee kill while radiant, which will in turn give us infinite melee abilities. Second is going to be on your mark. This is going to allow critical kills to increase our handling and our reload speed for a short duration, and it also stacks up to three times in total, increasing in its effectiveness. On top of this, just using our dodge will max us out immediately to times three, so this is going to come in clutch for weapon swaps and damage rotations in general. We get five total fragments with the build, which are going to be extremely important for the full setup. Ember of Ashes is up first. If you saw my Warlock Fusion Grenade build, I went over how this gives us a 50% increase in score stacks we apply. 100 stacks will eventually trigger an ignition, so with this one melee and one grenade, we'll then ignite enemies, boosting our ability damage. Ember of Singeing is next, and it's important for getting our dodge back. This is going to give us a 300% increase in our dodge regen rate whenever we scorch enemies, which will be all the time through each of our abilities. Last, from the old build, we are also still running Ember of Torches, which is going to make melee hits make us radiant. This will proc in time for our Phantom Knives to always be refunded. New to the build is going to be the Fragment Ember of Resolve. With this, any grenade final blow we get is going to cure us. This is a decent chunk of health that we're getting back, and since we are spamming grenades, we get these chunks back pretty often. Lastly, Ember of Searing was updated this season, so now any kill on Scorched enemies is going to also drop a Fire Sprite. These do have an internal cooldown on the spawn rates, but grabbing one will also give us a small amount of our grenade energy back, helping with our ability uptime. Moving over to the mod setup for the build, we're going to be focusing on spawning in orbs of power, which are then going to be picked up to help with our ability cooldowns and provide us with healing too, along with some other mods to help build our super even faster. On my helmet, I am running double ashes to assets. This gives super energy on grenade final blows, which is how we're going to be building super much quicker. And I do also have on Void Siphon because I'm just combining this build with Funnel Web and the volatile rounds in the artifact. On our gauntlets, we do have firepower so that our grenade kills will also spawn in orbs of power, impact induction so that using our grenade gives us back class ability energy, and then lastly, heavy handed so our melee kills are also generating orbs. On my chest piece, I just have three basic resist mods for better damage reduction. And then moving over to my boots, I'm running two copies of Recuperation here. This is very similar to how Cure works, but we're going to be getting health back on each orb we pick up. On top of this, we also have Orbs of Restoration to provide energy to our least charged ability. I found this to be super useful since all our abilities are getting spammed constantly. And then lastly, moving on to my class item, I have Double Utility Kickstart. 
Usually our class ability being down is what hurts the build and the cycle the most. So this combined with armor charges just helps to prevent this downtime. Overall, the build actually feels pretty broken. We spawn in a metric ton of orbs with this setup, each of which provides us with a chunk of health, ability energy, and also super energy. The cycle with young Ahamkara Spine is also great for keeping our abilities up, and the cure from grenade final blows also helps a ton in situations where we're low on health. This is a great example of a build that was super strong before Lightfall and is now even better with the updated mod system along with better fragments to help keep us alive. Let me know your thoughts on the build in the comments below along with what your favorite builds currently are since Lightfall has been launched. I do also stream a bunch over on Twitch as I mentioned. A link to that and my Discord server are both in the description below. Anyways, that's all for this video guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.